Hi, welcome to this Simply Maya Free Friday tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to take a quick look at Mental Ray's Approximation Editor. This is not supposed to be an in-depth look at the Approximation Editor for Mental Ray, more a brief guide for those of you who might not know about this feature. So we're going to start off with a very simple scene here. I've just imported a very low polygon glass object. And to tell you what we're going to use the editor for, first I'll take a quick render of this as it is now. So here's a quick render and as you'll see this is not exactly what you'd expect to see. You'd expect to see a smooth wine glass. Now there's a couple of ways we can combat this. The first of course is to press 3 on the keyboard and activate a smooth preview and Mental Ray will actually render this smooth preview. So if I save this image for comparison and re-render you can see here that it is smoother however it's not that smooth. It's still quite jagged around the edges. Now the other common way to uh, combat this is to add object smoothing. So if we go up to Mesh and then Smooth, you'll see now that we have more geometry on our object. And if we hit Render, it's smoother, but it's still not quite smooth enough, um, especially for a close-up shot. If I zoom in a bit more, you should be able to get a better view. So zoom in and Render. So it's still not smooth. You can still see here we have straight lines. So I can increase the level of smoothing by going to the Attribute Editor, finding the Smooth node, Smooth Face, and setting the division levels up to, say, 2. But now we have lots of geometry on our object. When we render, it is smoother, but it's still not quite perfect. I can still see straight lines. So this would be good from, say, this distance. This should be perfect. But for an extreme close-up, we might have to add even more smoothing, at which point the geometry on this object gets, well, as you can see, it's almost pure green in the display here. It has so much geometry on it. But for a close-up shot, it will be exceptionally smooth. Now that's fine as far as it goes, it's only put a second on our render time. However, we only have one very simple object in the scene. If you're dealing with complicated objects that you need to smooth, as you can imagine, you can go into the millions of polygons very quickly, uh, smoothing your geometry like this. And the problem also stems from, if your wine glass, say, would be here, and you hit render, Okay, it looks fine, but if we take all this smoothing off, and we'll save this for comparison and render, it looks pretty much exactly the same. Um, so we don't need the level of smoothing that far away from the camera. But if you're animating, what will happen is you can't really um, control the smoothing le levels for everything individually. You can't stop the animation every frame and tweak the smoothing if you have thousands of objects in your scene. And this is where the Mental Ray Approximation Editor can come in quite useful. So the first thing we'll do here to get a look at it is turn all the smoothing off this. Press 1 on the keyboard or put it to a smoothing level of 1 and we'll render. And you can see we're back where we started with a very jagged wine glass. However, we have very little geometry, so our object is now taking up less memory in our scene. If it's ever rendered from a distance, the lack of geometry won't be important. And rather than smooth this with a traditional poly smooth, what I'm going to do is go to Window, Rendering Editors, and under Mental Ray, um, and that's Rendering Editor, sorry, Mental Ray, you have something called the Approximation Editor. Now here you'll see Displacement, Subdivision, Surface and Trim. For this quick example, I'm going to use the Subdivision. I'm going to drive the settings from Maya and hit Create. Now you'll see what's happened here. We've created a Mental Ray Subdivision Approximation. And if I was to re-render this now, I'll get it sort of at the same position that we were at and re-render. You can see we have quite a high level of smoothing but without any extra geometry and without a poly smooth node. So if we go for an extreme close-up you can still see it's a little bit jagged. You can fix this by selecting the object, selecting the mental ray subdivision approximation and increasing the end subdivisions to, let's put it quite high, let's say 5 
and render again. And you'll notice that our jaggedness is completely gone. Now, the thing about this is while it's doing an extreme close-up, it will add more subdivisions. If you were to zoom out on this object, it actually won't calculate all of those extra subdivisions, so your renders become faster. So using the Mental Ray Approximation Editor is a way of, within Mental Ray, of course it won't work within Maya software, is a way of saving yourself the headache of using Polygon Smooth and creating overly heavy geometry. Obviously that's a very simplistic look at the Approximation Editor, but I hope you found this useful, and I'll see you next Friday.